Hi you guys, welcome back and if you are new here, my name is Noemi. If you want to have a tidy home, well, here are a few tips for you that will help you. I already made a video, I will link it down below for you guys, where I share you the general idea of a tidy home, what does that mean and how you can achieve it. However, this video is gonna be all about how to put it into practice and the first tip is to have a tray and I'm talking about it doesn't have to be an exact tray just some kind of a flat something that you can use for as a tray and for us in the kitchen we like to use the same glasses and during the day and otherwise if I don't have this tray we would have this all over the place everybody would put it down into a different places but that's actually a good guide for my family that this is the place that it should go back and in the majority of the time <laughs> they're putting it back there but it's a good guide and it's very easy to tidy up the kitchen to gather all those glasses in one places and it looks so much put together that way sometimes for tray i like to use a big flat plate and that serves the same purpose where i have all kinds of random things on the dresser and that way it's all gathered in one place and it just looks so much neater and just more put together that way and i still able to grab them in a second so if something that we frequently use is still very easy to access yet it looks so much better the next step is have an easy system to put away things that means for me, just an example from the kitchen, we like to keep things nearby where we use it. Whatever we keep our Vitamix, we also like to put all the things nearby it that we like to use with it. And that would be something that we put into the smoothie. So we created stations in the kitchen where we can gather all those things together and also i have the spices right next to the stove so when i'm cooking and i need the spices it's very easy to grab and also it's very easy to put it away because if it's more easy to put it away there's more likely that we will put it away all the dishes that i washed and as they dried i just have to put them into the drawer right next to it so everything is organized around the way that is a most convenient maintenance so the next example for that is coming from my kids room my kids are not really favored the idea to put their clothes away to nicely put it <laughs> so i added some hooks into their bedroom where they where we keep their clothes so that way it's so much easier it's just one touch they can just grab something and put it on the hook and still not put it away in their closet but at least it's not on the floor so that means it looks a little bit more put together and tidy the next tip is try to keep everything vertically and that means especially i'm thinking about those piles that we have lingering around in the living room that could be a school stuff for my kids or just some kind of random papers that we haven't put it away yet and they start to pile off and those piles i swear they attract other things to pile up on that besides that you don't see what's underneath it's really rapidly growing so once you put them in vertically you get a better see and since you use something to store them vertically that means you have a limited space so that will keep you at bay how much you should have and that way you you get to see when it starts to overflow instead of just with the pile you can go as high as it doesn't fall <laughs> and i'm telling you i was a master of that i was building i used to build a tetris with those books and all kinds of papers but when we started to keep them vertically that meant i had to go through occasionally so the next tip is have a place for everything and i think we have heard this a few times but here's the thing once i decluttered my home i had a space to put things randomly i didn't have a designated place and it was just hanging around on the table or in the living room but once i find a place for even for the everyday items that i use during the day 
but obviously there are times when I don't use them and I'm talking about like a laptop or a headset and even my phone has a space where I can put it so that way I don't have to look for it when it's ringing where is my phone things has a place to live there are no questions where to put it and we're not going to think about it and just put it here or there because if I left my laptop on the dining table, eventually wanted to eat, so I put it on the, in the living room. However, later we wanted to play board game, then I had to put it somewhere else. So it was a constant moving around my laptop, but since we have a designated space, even for this everyday item as a laptop or the phone, there's a no-brainer where to put it and it's just very easy to locate it as well. The next tip for you guys that has worked for me, I created a habit that every time I left a room, I looked around if I can see something that I can grab on the go. And we live in a fairly small house, so it definitely makes it easier that every time I pass by something, I can just grab it and I pass by the bathroom, I just put it back there and a hand lotion or something that was out in the living room or either some kind of books it makes it easier but if you have a bigger home you can put baskets and you can just gather the items but as I go I just do it I just pick up the things so once it's turned into a habit I didn't even realize that I was tidying up during the day and I like to do this more often rather than do it all at once because then I started to have piling up things and it was just a more dragging things for me so this habit is sticking with me so every time I leave a room I just look around if I something that is doesn't belong there and I'm heading to the horse to that place where it it goes then I just grab it and take it with me so these are the tidy up tricks that I started to implement in our home and of course we do have more so if you guys want me to share more I will but for now I would love to hear about what is your favorite tip to have a tidy home thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this and I would love to have you here as a subscriber if you haven't subscribed yet and I would highly appreciate a like because that helps my channel otherwise I will see you soon guys bye